as always subscribe we are we're doing okay so we are now at 116 subscribers so that's that's uh, impressive given the number of, of weeks we've had about 40 subscribers so that's good so we, we're we're building the channel slowly so this week this video is very short uh, it's about three things uh, one is the the young man whose view audio we heard that was shared on on social media the one who was cautioning a certain old man I think he was is one of the people they call Banyan uh, some sort of a seer so he was cautioning about issues to do with Nial being removed and I call it becoming the president and that this old man was required to go and bless you know <laughs> I call it to be the, the president of South Sudan and apparently the, the old man is, you know, an in-law to a call call. So some people dismiss the audio, but there's, we have reports of the young man disappearing. The reports of him being killed. So I, I don't have much. So uh, once I have some information from, from uh, South Sudan, I'll talk about, about it. But it's just the issue of, you know, people with different opinions in South Sudan being targeted. So that, that's a thing. Uh, but the video today is about uh, Trisha C., the young woman who died uh, through a border border accident on March 29th. Uh, I saw a picture, a mural that was posted, what she meant to people who loved her and people who saw, you know, promise in her. And the mural was effaced. So here's the the one that was posted, the beautiful you know, message to sort of remember her. And then someone decided to face this. Why would someone do that to, to someone who is dead? To a young woman who had a long future ahead of her, you know, the future that was suddenly and tragically cut short. Why would you do something like this? So people like these are the people who are destroying South Sudan. If someone who did this is your friend, your sister, or your brother, and you know them, and you're keeping quiet, you are part of the problem. Because what you do when you do these things, you make people, you know, people become resentful. They become filled with hatred. And that's how you divide the country, and that's how you destroy the country. So if someone who did this is your friend, tell them it's it's vandalism and vandalism is actually something that that's, that's punishable by law i'm not sure what the law is in south sudan but in a place like like canada vandalism is punishable by law but my main message is when you do things like this you are not only destroying the memory of people who are dead you offend people who loved her next week will be the analysis of of this video of a young man, especially a boy, who picked up a gun after his family was attacked. So his father was shot, his mother was raped, and uh, according to this young, this boy, he says the people who killed his family are the Jeng people, and for for some Equatorians. Uh, the Jeng people are called Jenge, and he used the the word Jenge. So I'm going to talk about the implications of what he says, and the fact that he picked up the gun instead of being in school.